Welcome to part 2 of this Tronian build video series. Thank you for the comments on the first part. Let's see how this second part gonna go. On this video I wanna make the two side plates that gonna hold the C-axis. The first part I gonna make is the one that gonna hold the harmonic drive. It's have to gonna look like this so it can fit the harmonic drive inside. Let's put it in the material in the device, make a program and make some chips. The material is now in the device and the zero point has been set. Uh, let's have a small look at the program. First I'm gonna start with a face mail to deck off the top, then roughing the outside, roughing the inside and roughing the hole where the shaft of the harmonic drive will go through. I uh, fixed the coolant. It's a uh, less rich co concentration right now. So let's see how the imaging images from the inside of the machine will go. Uh, last time I get a lot of comments about the noise from the inside of the machine. Because of the camera is mounted uh, on a piece of aluminium rod. straight lead through the head, it um, vibrates a little, which gives a strange noise while machining. Maybe I can figure something out to make it more damped, but first let's see how the image is going to look like with better coolant.
The majority of the part has now been roughed out. Now let's make some program to finish it up and make the harmonic drive fit inside. I created the finishing program. First I'm gonna finish the outside contour in two steps. Then roughly finish the inside so I can finish the bottom almost to the outer edge. Then finish the inside to final dimension in two steps with a little offset so I don't touch the bottom. And eventually finish the hole where the shaft goes through. Uh, and I'm also going to use this hole so I can um, locate the part when I flip it around. part now has been finished. I did some uh, off-camera additional finish on the inside to make the harmonic drive just super tightly fit in. Now let's do chamfers on the outside, inside and drill the holes that will um, hold the harmonic drive. Op one is now done. Let's get it out of the vise, flip it around, indicate it, and take off the other side. The part has now been flipped around. I used the center of this hole and the top of the parallels to set the work coordinate system. First, uh, roughing out these airs, then rough face milling most of the stock away, and then do a finishing pass slowly to give it a nice service finish. Part have now been phased off. I had some shatter issue on, on this side of the part because it's hanging freely. So I recut the the finishing pass uh, a little lower with the with the help of a support here. So it was more stable. So now there are no shatter marks anymore. Now let's uh, cut the chamfer around it and drill the mounting holes for the bracket that will hold the servo. Op 2 now have me finished. There is only one operation left to do is uh, put it straight up in the vise and drill the five holes uh, which we'll use to bolt this side plate to the base plate. The part now have been tapped and I put the two parts together, put the harmonic drive in it's start to get some shape now. Next part I'm gonna make is the side plate on the other side. It's pretty much the same part, only the hole is smaller 
because it only needs to fit a bearing so I won't completely dive into how to make it but only show you footage of the making The sides now have been mounted to the bottom plate. I also pressed in the bearing on the floating side. The harmonic drive has been mounted temporarily and I mounted the fully. So that's going to be it for, for this part. Next part I want to machine the bracket on the side that will hold the servo for the B axis. And I think I also going to make the the junction box that's going to be on the back and after that I'm going to start working on the biggest part the table that's going to rotate between the two side plates I hope you guys like this uh, this part please let me know and then I'm going to work on part 3 see you next time <laughs>